We're given the cost function c of x equals 62,500 plus 500x plus x squared, where c of x is the total cost in dollars and x is the production level. We want to answer the following questions. A, what is the cost at the production level of 1,050? B, what is the average cost at the production level of 1,050? C, what is the marginal cost at the production level of 1,050? And then D, what is the production level that will minimize the average cost? And then E, what is the minimum average cost? So to begin, to determine the cost or total cost at a production level of 1,050, we want to evaluate the cost function at 1,050. So this would give us C of 1,050 equals 62,500 plus 500 times 1,050 plus 1,050 squared. Let's go ahead and evaluate this on the calculator. So the total cost would be $1,690,000. Part B, what is the average cost at the production level of 1,050? Well, the average cost function is equal to the total cost function divided by the production level, or C of x divided by x. Let's first find the average cost function. When dividing by a monomial or a single term, we divide each term in the numerator by the denominator, which would give us 62,500 divided by x plus 500x divided by x plus x squared divided by x. So the average cost function is equal to 62,500 divided by x plus 500 plus x. And now we'll evaluate this function at x equals 1,050. And now we'll go back to the calculator. So the average cost of the nearest cent would be approximately $1,609.52. Part C, what is the marginal cost at the production level of 1,050? The marginal cost function is the derivative of the cost function, and it's used to approximate the cost of the x plus one item. So in this case, it would give us the cost of the next item when the production level is 1,050. So first, the marginal cost function, c prime of x, would be equal to, the derivative of 62,500 would be zero, plus the derivative of 500x, that would be 500, plus the derivative of x squared, that would be 2x. Now we'll evaluate this at x equals 1,050. This would be 500 plus 2,100, which would give us 2,600. So the marginal cost at x equals 1,050 is $2,600. Which again is the cost to produce the next item when the production level is 1,050. Part D, what is the production level that will minimize the average cost? So going back to part B, notice how this is the average cost function. So to minimize this function, we first want to find the critical numbers. We can do this two ways. We can either determine where the derivative of the average cost function is equal to zero or undefined, or when the average cost and marginal cost are equal. Let's go ahead and use the calculus method here. So for the next step, we'll find the derivative of this average cost function. But before we do this, though, let's write this first term, where this is x to the first in the denominator. So we move this up. We can write this as 62,500 x to the power of negative one. So 
So the derivative of this would be equal to negative 62,500 x to the power of negative two plus zero and then plus one which is the same as negative 62,500 divided by x squared plus one. And now we'll set this equal to zero and solve. Notice how this function would be undefined when x equals zero, but when x equals zero, the production level would be zero. So to solve this equation here, let's multiply through by x squared. So that would give us a negative 62,500 plus x squared equals zero, Solving for x squared, we have x squared equals 62,500. And now we'll square root both sides of the equation. Again, because x is the production level, we know x can't be negative. So we're only concerned about the positive or principal square root here. So going back to the calculator, the square root of 62,500 is 250. So we only have one feasible critical number, but to verify that at this x value, this will minimize the average cost function, we need either use the first derivative or second derivative test. So let's go ahead and use the second derivative test to determine whether the function is concave up or concave down at this value of x. So here's the first derivative function. So if we find the second derivative function, notice how we'd multiply by negative two which would give us positive 125,000 times x to the power of negative three. And notice the second derivative function at 250 would be positive or greater than zero, which means the function is concave up, which is good news because that means at x equals 250, we do have a minimum function value. So the production level of 250 will minimize the average cost. And finally, for the last question, or part E, we want to determine the minimum average cost. Well, again, the average cost function was equal to 62,500 divided by x plus 500 plus x and we just found that this function is minimized when x equals 250, so to find the minimum average cost, we we'll evaluate this function at x equals 250. So notice here we have plus 750. So the minimum average cost per item is $1,000. I hope you found this helpful.